Hi! In this video, I am going to show you how to put together the graduation gown card from Simply Crafty SVGs. So the first thing we want to do, um, I just jump right in, is to, I'm going to ink, I inked all the edges pretty much, but I'm using a popcorn chalk ink um, to highlight the edges so they're seen when you piece it together. So that's just an option, um, but it does help to give it definition and you can see that in the photos of the product photo. So once we get them all edged and that's what it is, it's chalk ink from Colorbox. It's just easy to use. Um, we'll be able to start piecing. So I already pieced together that tag and there's also a happy graduation uh, tag included that you can print and cut if you'd like to. So everything should fit in like a puzzle. So we're going to line that up so I'd start at the top and then you can see that the arms line up. So the arm's going to fold over so it folds over like that. So both of them are scored the left and right. So just go ahead and we'll just piece this together like a puzzle. So it will line up. You want to line when you add glue to these pieces, line this up to the edge of the collar and it's just easier to get your fingers around the edges to make sure it's lined up at the top and on the inside of the collar. Then we'll move on to the arm. So that's, that's just going to fit right in. You can see the full arm's not there because it folds. So we'll just line up to the edge of the collar, kind of not the collar piece but the the top piece that we just glued down. We're just going to add glue to that section there and line it up. So just showing that the edge lines up and that that'll fold over eventually. We'll do that at the end. So we'll go ahead and repeat that on the other side. The biggest thing here when you're piecing is just to make sure it's lined up as best you can. It's not a huge deal if it's a little bit off. It's not going to cause any major... It'll still look good. Usually where you can see where piecing goes awry is on the back. Where it's not, you know, um, lined up properly. But we won't see the back. So again, we're doing just the same thing we did on the right arm to the left. And just making sure that it's lined up there and I'm just getting the excess glue off. With black, the only bad thing about black is that it shows everything. It shows glue pieces, it shows... Um, so you want to be careful with glue when you're, you're gluing black. And you could use, you could make the gown any color obviously. I made it black because it's more of a classic color. So we're going to go ahead and glue this back white piece. So what you'll notice, and you might not notice it, is, it might be as, not as obvious, but we just want to add a little glue like this. If it's a little excessive, it's okay because we're going to glue it to the card. And you kind of can start gluing here, but um, you kind of want to look at it on the top before you apply pressure. So you want to center it so the top edges are matching up with the top edge of the black. And then you don't see, make sure that it's down enough that middle piece should match up to that little uh, V in the collar. So now we have two pieces. It's, one's going to angle to the left and one's to the right. So you'll see the right piece angles down to the right a little bit. So we want to make sure we're putting the right pieces on the right side. So we're going to, on the left side, the, we're using the right pieces. We're going to glue the smaller piece to the left side of the larger piece. And we want to line up that edge. So I'm just feeling along the edge as I glue it. So this will create the dimension of the pleats or the the feel of the pleats. I try to do folding, um, but uh, that's a little bit more difficult. Maybe in another project. So with the left piece, which is angling to the left, we're going to line up. We're basically lining those middle pieces to uh, the smaller pieces to the middle. So you can see this is how they look. So when we place it on the card we want to make sure that the for the left piece the right corner is lined up to the middle 
of the V, the collar V, and the same thing with the right piece. So you can see how that's going to go. So this right piece we're lining up the left co upper corner to the bottom of that V, the V neck. I'm just going straight down. I'm going to try to make it as straight as possible. I don't like to put a lot of guidelines cut. I mean, I know they're helpful, but this one you pretty much can eye. And even if it's off a little bit, you won't even notice it. So we put the left piece on there. So the gown is getting closer. So I'm going to add this little accent color. So to add the school colors or whatever colors. This happens to be um, a card for specifically for somebody graduating, and this is their school colors. And then those are going to fold in, so I'm going to use um, scotch foam tape to pop them up so you kind of get a little dimension. They're, you could just glue them down if you want, but I have them kind of popping up, so just stick a little piece there, and a little piece there, and then take off the protective covering and just fold it over. So there's the gown piece. So I think that's the most work other than if you want to uh, for this next for the hat. I used a little brad for the middle. You could cut out a little circle if you wanted. And um, I actually made a little tassel. So I'm going to reference in the notes below how I kind of made that tassel. It's formulated after a tassel. It's a mini version of a tassel I made um, with the graduation graduation explosion box. So it's, it's a little bit tricky. I'm going to get all my things for the... so I have a little piercer here. Those are great by the way if you ever lose the top of your piercer. That's just a antenna topper from one of the happiest places on earth. So I'm just going to eyeball the center and then poke a hole in for my brad. I'm going to put it partially through because what I want to do is utilize the brad to hold the tassel. If you, if you wanted to cut out tassel there's, you know, you can go, we have a free card that you could utilize something like that or or just another uh, file if you'd like. I just decided that um, it would be, look better this card if you took the time to make one of these little mini twine tassels. So I have a little extra ta um, twine at the top. You see it's just going to sit like that. So I'm just kind of trying to decide how much I need to how close I need to wrap it around that top of that brad. So I'm going to wrap it around that brad. So I'm just showing you just in case you decide to do this. Like I said, it took me a couple times to get the tassel right, but if you're making a special card, it's kind of a, a wow factor, I think, the actual tassel part. So you could do that too if you don't if you don't have a brad if you just had a cutout circle with your die cutting software you could actually these scissors need to be sharpened um, I'm gonna get a different pair of scissors but you could actually um, just put a cutout circle and glue it underneath that so I'm just kind of tucking in the extra so I can't see it and getting it in the right position and then. I will flip over the, I don't even know what those are called, the, the brad pieces, <laughs> the fastener. So now we have that ready to go. And here's the card, uh, this is actually the we're getting close to the simpler part of it. 
we have a little piece that holds a gift card. You can, there's two options in the file. You can utilize this insert or one without a gift card insert or both. You could put a gift card insert on the left and then the, the solid one on the white right for a message. But if you just want to use one and you want to put a message and a gift card, this is the one I'd use. So when you're gluing this on, you just want to make sure you put an edge of glue just around the edge and make sure you don't get any glue on those two little round cutout pieces so they flip up. So the gift card will, so you can flip them up to hold the gift card. I didn't quite center it, but you could do whatever you want, what looks good to you. And then just gently pull those up. It's kind of hard to pull up, but you can kind of slide it underneath. My little pseudo gift card thing is sized exactly like a, like a Visa gift card or any other gift card. So we're going to put that on there, but first we have to put the border. So we're getting close to being done here. I want you to know how it sits. So you want to make sure that the hat, the tip of the hat won't go beyond the top of the card. And this card is a uh, size to fit in an A7 card. I mean envelope, I should say. And we do have a f in the free basic envelope set, um, there's a card you can cut out if you don't have one. So you can see I'm doing a line of, really fine line of glue. And then what I usually do with these kind of things, because I want to make sure I get the right edge around it. So I'll start at the bottom and not quite put it down until I have it, the edges around space correctly. And then apply pressure. So the trick is start at the bottom, kind of get it aligned visually, and then apply pressure. So here before we glue it, I just want to show you, you just want to arrange it and make sure that that tip of that top of the hat um, does not go beyond the top. I mean, you can have it go a little bit. You have a little wiggle room for an envelope. But if you want to use a, a seven uh, envelope, then you don't want to go too much higher than that. I have it designed to have the tip at the top. So I put that first with um, foam, Scotch foam tape, tape. So it would pop it up. So you could glue the bottom portion, portion first, but that helped me get that in place and I'll just slide the top, top um, edge of the gown underneath the tip of the hat since it's raised. And then we just wanna make sure that it's aligned to the bottom of the card. And you can see visually how I'm doing this. And then what's the only thing we'll add to this is the congratulations uh, tag. Again, happy graduation is another one that's included. And these are intended to print and cut. So they are SVG files, so you could actually remove the words altogether and put your own um, words or just use a different tag. And the fun thing, too, is I use school colors, so um, you know, you could add the school logo as well. So that's the fun thing with that. With any of the graduation cards, that's always fun to find one and print it cut. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this card. Um, I enjoyed making it, and I thank you so much for watching.